He knocks that Van Dijk, Alexander Arnold, Wijnaldum, how have they recovered? Are they available to play this weekend? What state are they in? Pretty much all of them. Trent trained yesterday completely normal. Uh, it was not a knock. Trent, Trent was a bit ill. Um, but that looked just so pretty good. And um, so with Welch, we have to wait. He didn't train so far. He, will, um, will, um, he didn't train with the team so far. So, um, But can't say anything more about that. So, um, uh, what was the other one? Junior, yes, Junior trained as well. So, all good. How does that first defeat of the season affect the mood of the squad, if at all? Uh, like a defeat is, it's not cool. You know, it's not what you want. It's not um, what you are going for. So that's how it is. But it's not, not that we should not be surprised that things like this can happen, especially when in a, in a game when you against a really strong side when you don't use your big chances. And um, we have be said a few times, you leave the game open, and then um, if you leave the game open, there's always a chance for the other team. And so that's what. Um, what happened? Not more. Um, but I don't think affecting the mood after of defeat. Yeah, of course, immediately after the game, it's not the mood is not good. But then you have uh, two days in this case um, to um, yeah, to find back on track, and um, that's I would say worked so far. We will go to Chelsea and try our best again. But um, in, in games like this, you never can be sure that you will get the result you, you, you want to have. You have to work for it, and that's what we try. Rob Sunes has again been very complimentary about your team, says that this Liverpool team will give any team from any era a real game. You've already come through a big test against Spurs, another top four rival this season. What kind of a statement would it be if you were to open up a five-point gap on another title <coughs> rival or top four rival in, in Chelsea this weekend? I don't think in this category, to be honest, because it's difficult enough to, to try to win the game um, or if to get a point at Chelsea. And um, I don't think about a five-point gap. And a five-point gap, um, 31 match days before the end is nothing, because you play them again, so it's absolutely nothing. It's only about po get, getting, getting points on our account, and that's all what we try to do. Um, and if Graham says that, that yeah he's right would would give all the teams a, a proper game and that's the best news to be honest um, that's exactly how we see it as well but give somebody a proper game doesn't mean you will win that game it only means you are competitive and that's what we are um, that's what we have to show again and um, I thought uh, the Chelsea game was just an unbelievable interesting game to be honest in the analyze as well so we needed time to adapt yes we had a new formation yes and that's that's um, without the ball Against the ball, if I mean defending, it's a bit more complicated than with the ball. If you and so it felt maybe a bit like Chelsea had, um, and for us as well, it was not uncomfortable. And we think, okay, they passed there, passed there, and we were not ready. It was because of little, 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 little details, but they are absolutely important. And for the boys, it was a big challenge because. I know how people see it, and always, and you let them play after a long time. We have five players. Okay, Fabinho played a few minutes, but we have four. And a half players um, with the first minutes of for sure the first start in the season, and um, and then we all think they need to be ready in that moment, use the chance, or you will never get another one. But that's not how it is. So it's it's only it was a really difficult task, and um, I was happy how we adapted in the game. To be honest, so with all the things they did at the end, they needed a uh, free kick, and maybe offside, maybe not, um, not important, and a world class situation of Azar. Um and to, to, to win the game, so we had the bigger chances and all that stuff. So that, that's good news. But uh, still, we lost it. And that, uh, that what can happen, that's not a problem. But how I say it's always about uh, the um, result is the most important thing, but the performance is, is pretty important as well. Um, and, and for analyze, much more important. Um, and so we learned a lot in that game. And it, made it, so, it was in, just interesting to see how we adapted in, in a pretty short uh, period of time and with a complete, pretty much completely new formation. And that's that's good, uh, but we have to do better um, because, um, yeah, Chelsea will make changes, of course, and Hazard will not only play 20 minutes, so it will give us a few questions, probably over 95, and um, a lot of other players will come in, um, yeah, Jorginho uh, and, and Kante and all these boys. So it will be interesting again, and um, I'm looking forward to it. You've got a few to come by yourself. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. <laughs>
Um, just as far as Virgil is concerned, obviously with it being such a, a, a colossus in, in your defence as well, what sort of an impact might that have? Or has that had, or even on training maybe? Oh. I, 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 Virgil is a world-class player, there's no doubt about that. And, and, and if you miss a world-class player, it's always it's, it's not cool. But Dan Lovren made his first game after the World <coughs> Cup, I would say around about 10 weeks. Most of the time he was that injured that he couldn't even think about training because you have in that part of your body something that's not you cannot do fitness nothing. So um, and after that long period he played an outstanding game. Uh, Joel Matip long have been injured now two games in a row played fantastic and both fullbacks didn't play in that season so far. So that's um, we all get judged constantly, but it's for, for the boys it's much more important what I think about their performance than what you think about their <coughs> performance. And I um, can imagine that people say, oh, thank God all the others come back again and stuff like that. But these boys did a really good job. So if Virtual is fit and can play, then he will play. So why should I make? But if not, then obviously we have options and that's, that's really good. That's really good. Um, and for that, yes, his impact is is um, always um, obvious, um, but we could play football and before Welsh Van Dijk, and we can play without Welsh Van Thank God. Um, but I prefer as well that he is fit and available, and I can make decisions if he needs a rest or not um, in one or the other game. But now for the last game, he was not available, and now we'll see what will be tomorrow. I know you've touched upon it, but with that in mind, maybe as well, what have you learned about your your depth in your squad following this week as well? A depth in, by the way, we spoke a lot about our depth in the squad, I think, and then you, you watch it, and nobody spoke about Chelsea, and then Luton, and they made eight changes as well, and um, I think Zappa Costa was not involved, uh, and a few others. So they have obviously, you need that. You need that. You cannot um, go in a season with 12, 13, 14 top class players. You need 20 of them. That's how it is. And, um, but then still, it's better to make two changes than six or seven. To, 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 and we talk about rhythm and, um, and, and, and playing together and all that stuff, working together. That's, that's of course. But I'm completely happy with the depth of the squad when all are fit. That's how it is because uh, it doesn't help happen a lot that we have all available. But when they are all available, then we have then the depth in the squad is really good, and um, I'm happy. Um, I know the disappointment of, of midweek and being out of a cup competition so far, but in, in, in an advantage of that up until January now, you just can just focus on on the two competitions, the Premier League and the Champions League, which some may suggest is it would have been a better priority than also being in the League Cup as well. <coughs> If you see like this, then you play better. You don't play Champions League, and you, and you go out in the first round in the Carabao Cup, and then you have enough time to focus on the on the on the league. Yeah, it's not. Um, we do the job to play all the games. Somebody uh, gives us, if you want, all competitions we are in. We want to win, and it's the job. You know, I said before the game, the, the stadium will be full. Um, so means we have to be at 100 percent. That's what we try to do. Um, I, I, in the moment, I don't see a lot of positive things, to be honest. When I think about losing a, a cup game, but um, I know that uh, if you go the next two rounds, I'm not sure, would not be the biggest um, problem um, match-wise. In January, yeah, if we go in the semis, I think then around about then, then it's getting yeah, then it's getting a bit more busy, and that's not not cool. But if you're that far, then you want to go. For it, of course. So, but that's clear before you start a competition. And I, I think, um, before or when I came in, people expect more or less that in in these kind of games, you 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 line up all the kids. Uh, if one of us would have done that in the, the last game, and we didn't, I didn't speak to Sari before the game and asked how who you will line up, and I line up them, then we have a proper game. So, but if we would have brought the kids, or I would have done that, that would have been a funny game. Uh, so that was um, that was a, a, a real a real cup game, and both teams showed how important um, this cup is for them, and I, and I like that. So we lost. That's not cool, but that's all. So with the changes that 
I guess you're going to make and Chelsea are going to make as well. Are you expecting a similar kind of fun, a similar kind of game than you had in midweek? Yeah. The same one as midweek. At least. Yeah. It will be tough. It will be intense for both sides. It's a big one. It's Chelsea versus Liverpool. So um, that's, uh, that sounds already good. And then now we have to make sure that it is good. And um, yeah, that will not, that for both teams, it will not be an easy game. Both teams know that. But how I said, the best preparation for us for the Saturday game is the Wednesday game because you can never know more about an opponent than uh, in a match you play against them. And um, uh, of course, a few different players on the pitch um, for sure for Chelsea. And um, yeah, but we try to use our information from Wednesday to do it better. Jürgen, I'm sure it'll be a different starting lineup tomorrow, but, but given the fact that you've had a couple of days to, to reflect and work with the squad, um, can you sense uh, an added determination in the players to, you know, to, to make sure that, that at Stamford Bridge it's, it's a different result? An added motivation, maybe? Yeah, for sure, but it's not that I go, um, to be 100% honest, that I come in on, on Thursday morning and then and, and, and speak immediately how we in which way we strike back and things like this are obvious. We want to strike back. That's sports. You, you lose once. can happen. If you play them again, you try to correct that um, case. And um, that's what we try, of course. Um, but it's now, we have now, today is the, the only session we really have. And then we, we travel to, because so far it was, of course, um, for, the, for the team who played, it was completely only, yesterday was recovery. The good was with the other, with the other boys, we, could, we, had, we had a proper session, a good session. Um, and um, now today is a very important one to yeah, to to use the things we've learned in a training session about about the opponent, and then let's go and and try again. And um, hopefully they all um, are fit, and then we have a, we have a, we have done really proper quality, and that um, that makes it that makes it so interesting. Yes, but striking back is a is a, a real is a duty. In sports, that's why what's a big part of what I love. You can you always in a season you play always twice, so you, it's quite difficult to play in June or let me say in August, and then next time in 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 May, and you just tell the players, "Oh, okay, we lost against them." That's quite difficult. But in three days, it's possible, and then so well, let's try. Jen and Shakiri's played uh, started the last two matches. Uh, how would you assess his progress since he's come in and? And sort of getting to, to you know to, to play the Liverpool way and the, the, the way that, that you want and what you want from it. Oh, very good, very very good. Um, it's when he came in, that's what I wanted from him that he really sp plays only free, completely. Don't think about anything, play football. It's, I don't want to bother him and, and, and fill him up with informations about the way we play, the way he has to defend, the way he has to run. I wanted to see how he how he adapts, and that was that was brilliant in the preseason. You saw that. Um, but of course, for for the long term, you need you need to get used to all these different things more and more, and he makes big steps in that. But of course, it, it, it that's how and that's again again like it always was. Uh, when you use these informations, then you lose a little bit from the natural skills for a few days, weeks, whatever, um, because you think now a little bit more on the pitch as you should actually, because it's um, football. I said a few times. Should be more instinct than really um, thinking too much. So you have to do it that often that you don't have to think about it anymore. And that's where he is in a moment. But it's, I'm completely happy. It's, it's a fantastic impact and, and a really good player and good boy. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know if um, a German newspapers that I had an argument with Shakiri on the pitch. I hadn't. Only to make it clear, I hadn't. He was only the first one who was involved. Um, I met, and I wanted it was the second after the free kick we had, and I wanted to do it differently. But he was not. He was not even involved in the free kick. So, but it was only about that. You mentioned that was a good um, good preparation playing them earlier this week. How important was it to um, get an early sight of Ben Hazard, and how high did you rate him? To get an early what? Like an early sight of what Eden, Eden Hazard can do, obviously you, you know what he can do, but obviously he did specifically on the end of the week, how, how important was it to, to see what he can do? A few years ago, a couple of years ago, I think we played Chelsea, yeah, Chelsea win. Uh, um, 
Diego Costa and, and, and I mean, they played obviously in a different system, the two strikers, well, and Costa and, uh, and Enazar, kind of very offensive players. And I know exactly how good he is. <laughs> that night it felt like, wow, okay, we can defend all of them, but not, not him. Um, yeah. Enazar is a special player, obviously, and, he's, and, he, and he enjoys these one-one situations or one versus two or three situations. He enjoys that, so that's good. That's not. I, I didn't need that game to know about Eden, uh, though that um, was already clear before. And uh, obviously, it's the start of um, like a particularly critical week. Do you think like it'll have um, a critical impact on the end of the season? Since, uh, since the last international break, you know, we, 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 we knew that we face all these teams. And we, we, the boys did so far. We played Tottenham, PSG, Southampton, Chelsea. So it's, we are halfway through. <laughs> and so far, we, 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 did, we did really well. So we did really well. Performance-wise, very well. Result-wise, very well. Um, Last one is now. That's how, how it is always. Obviously, feels like it's the biggest impact, but I don't think so. Um, and before we started that, it was clear that a game against Chelsea at Chelsea will not be a, a, a children's birthday or whatever. That's that's pretty intense. And then you go to then you go to um, to Naples, uh, which is a tough place to go, and then Man City is coming. But we, we all know how these games were. Maybe we won them last year, but it was um, always nearly over the top what we had to what we had to do. So that's that's how it is. Um, that's an interesting month, yeah, to be honest. So, but uh, so far so good, and uh, boys are fully in it and uh, are ready to go and then we have to see what we will but the impact of for the season the old games have impact for the season as much it's all but we don't know that in the moment but um we want to we are quite positive let me say it like this we are quite positive that we can get a bit a bit of all these games yeah, you spoke about learning lessons from wednesday's game and also about knowing how good and Hazard is, is is one of the things that you talk to your players about is is ways that you would go differently about about maybe re reducing his impact, and is that really stopping passes to him or more sort of having a player almost really tied to him at, at all times? <laughs> yes, <laughs> pretty much all of that. But is it stopping passes to Hazard? Yeah, good idea. Being close, also time, good idea. But he likes to, that somebody's close. To be honest. Um, Come on, we all know that we could have defended that goal that he scored. That's clear. We had three challenges. Yes, he did well. But he did that well because we won. It was a bit. We, we, and we say in German, take you, I have him. So And nobody had him really. So it's like we, we, I, I'm there, but another one is there as well. And then both didn't do it, the 100%. If one, if we, we have one 100% challenge of four or five, I think, and as I can't do what he did. So that's how it is. So that, but that's not new. No. But he used the situation that always it was a little. Both players were being doubted. It's my, am I or are you? Well, yeah. We never want to do that. Never. It's always clear. We need one for the challenge and one for the protection. And we had two for the protection, three times. So, and then I would say still not possible to score a goal really. But he did <laughs> because of a perfect finish. So I can easily respect that. But no player is not. Defendable. They all. That's all how it is, of course. But it's it's difficult. We, we are difficult to defend. Uh, if you give Sadio Mane the ball in a different in in, a, in the wrong space, then you cannot get him anymore as an opponent. It's not possible. So in all these things, we have we have these players as well. So it's good. But um, yes, we have to make sure that we close the right spaces. And if we have a challenge, we have to. We should try to win it a bit more than we did in that situation. Obviously, what I talk about Hazard, but how important is Jorginho in what Chelsea do under Sarri? Very. <laughs> That's good. Eh? Another. How do we defend Jorginho? Huh? So, and uh, then we have them, these two, and then Willian is there, of course, and Morata or Giroud. Aye, aye, aye. And then Kovacic is running with the ball like a Formula, Formula One car, and um, uh, Kanté. Oh, don't forget him. Oh, come on. That you cannot. Break. That's uh, yeah. yeah. They are pretty important, all of them. That's how football is. That's why I love that game so much, because they're all important. Isn't that nice?
So, and uh, they, um, in the best way, they all they are all important. Our boys are all important. So let's be important. Let's try to be very decisive. Let's try to be at 100 percent, and let's play football because. When we played football, we caused them a lot of problems as well. We should not forget that we had the bigger chances in that game. I, 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 don't, I don't like talking about chances when you don't use them, but they were there. So they were obvious, big, obviously big, our chances. Sadio was big. I forgot after the game the two biggest chances, to be honest. When, when, when I spoke about the game, I forgot Sadio and, <laughs> and, and Daniel. Uh, uh, how can you forget these chances? And that's, um, if you score there, then we talk about exactly the same strength of the Chelsea team, but we would have won the last game. So let's try everything yeah, to win that game.